Ireland's political leaders have been branded invertebrate Europhiles by one of the country's leading Brexit supporters. Herman Kelly, leader of the pro-Rexit Irish Freedom Party has branded Ireland's Leo Varadkar and Micheál Martin invertebrate Europhiles for the leading politician's anti-Brexit stance. Mr Kelly warned that Irish Taoiseach Mr Martin and Mr Varadkar, his coalition partner, will do everything possible to prevent the UK from making Brexit a success. Mr Kelly told Express.co.uk, so the Irish Taoiseach, Prime Minister, at the time and Kenny and Irish Commissioners, Irish Ambassador to Britain, they were all campaigning, actively campaigning against Brexit in Britain. Which I think is a bit of a cheek actually you shouldn't interfere. But they campaigned actively against Brexit they were very disappointed, and I think shocked that the vote was passed. They've done everything to inhibit a Brexit taking place ever since. Leo Varadkar and Michael Martin are invertebrate Europhiles who are happy for all of Ireland to be under Brussels control. So they do not want Brexit to happen, added the Irish Freedom Party president. If they can use what is going on or what could possibly happen in Ireland on the border with trade in any way that could inhibit Brexit, they will. They will do everything possible to make sure that happened. Mr Kelly's comments come as Britain continues to renegotiate the Northern Ireland Protocol. Maros Svkovic, the European Commission's post-Brexit negotiator, met Foreign Secretary Liz Truss last week with further talks planned. If negotiations fail, Ms Truss has not ruled out the UK taking the drastic move of invoking Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol, which would suspend parts of the agreement. Boris Johnson signed the protocol with the EU as a measure to stop a hard border from being erected and undermining the Northern Ireland peace process. But Mr Johnson's government is trying to renegotiate the deal, arguing that it is hampering the movement of goods between Britain and Northern Ireland and damaging community relations. Jarlath O'Keefe, from Grant Thornton Island, said, The CSO figures for November confirmed that there has been a significant increase in cross-border trade on the island of Ireland in 2021 following Brexit. This is due in part to businesses adjusting their supply chains to avoid the administrative burden associated with importing goods from Britain. Exports to Northern Ireland were 3,305 million euro, 2.8 billion pounds, in the period January to November 2021, an increase of 1,078 million euro, 900 million pounds, on the same period in 2020.